Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria and this is where we give you hot fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you doing? Please go ahead and subscribe. Give this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers as well. It's very important. Please help this channel by liking this video. Turn on the post notification bell so that you'll be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Leave your comments in the comment section as well. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. No fewer than 25 shops were gutted by fire at Araromi Spare Part Market, Agudi Gate, Ibadan in the early hours of Saturday. Affected traders are yet to come to terms with the magnitude of their losses, as many of them refuse to mutter words. The incident was the second in the series in the last two and a half years. It was gathered that the fire started from one of the shops before it later spread to other shops over what they attributed to the late arrival of the men of the Oyo State Fire Services. But the director of the fire services, Engineer Deliki Ismail, refuted as he refuted the claim in an interview with our correspondent arguing that they got the information 30 minutes after the incident one mr solu whose house is 30 meters from a popular market alerted the agency of the incident the state fire service reports that the fire incident was reported at exactly 2.31 hours of Saturday, 14th January 2023, by Mr. Sulu, alerting the agency of the market on fire at Araromi Agudigate, Ibadan. Immediately after the address of the incident was taken, the fire contingent promptly deployed to the scene. On arrival at the place of a fire incident, some shops were met well alight because the fire has been burning for about 30 minutes before fire service agency was called. The fire crew swung into action and restricted the fire from further destruction to near shops. The fire was completely extinguished without leaving a stone unturned. The fire incident was a result of the scavengers burning disused tires at the place and the fire ignited the nearby combustibles and set the shops ablaze. The fire ravaged 24 fabricated shops where tires, planks, generators, etc. were stored. The director thereby advised the traders to desist from blocking access roads to all units of the market because it affected the fire trucks to gain easy entrance into the market. Hmm. If you want to know how dangerous fire is, just go and burn small bushel during dry season unsupervised just leave it unsupervised that is how you that is when you will know that hey fire need a look face fire can be so dangerous especially during the dry dry season you know have experienced this for sand and i can tell you that hmm, it's no joke like there was a time that you know we just discovered fire near our household we started kill, trying to kill this fire fetching water from i'm telling you no exaggeration no Morning till night, we fetch for fire. Uh, pardon me, we fetch water, just to be able to extinguish the fire. Hmm. We thought that we had done a good job. At the end of the day, by evening, we just you know, we, it's it's okay. I think you know we've done a good job. By the time we woke up the next morning, we discovered that the fire has spread to other places, and this time around, hey, for three four days, we were trying to extinguish this fire. Hmm. That is how dangerous fire can be, especially during dry season. So please, if you're listening, be careful wherever you are. Do not just, you know, do not make sure you you notice your surroundings and do not just 
burn anything anyhow in this dry season because before you know it the fire will spread daily easily and because of the wind as well you know wind and fire hmm, they are friends so once fire starts the wind will just help it and start blowing it to places that you will be thinking that ah how did this fire jump to that side how did this fire jump to the other side <laughs> the fire will just develop leg and start spreading and you'll be amazed at how fast the fire can spread uh, you, as you if you notice during this since amatan started there have been cases of you know fire 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 for one market the other market the other market. it's usually common during dry season any simple mistake like this before you know it you know the fire will spread all the scavengers always speaking things from year and there year and there year and there i don't know what they are burning that they you know i don't even know the situation that the owners of those shops would be in. and this is january <laughs> january is a very difficult month at that now compiled with the fact that now there are goods everything that you know they are open to sell <laughs> as as uh, uh, is on fire like they have no hope i don't even know how they will be feeling and also consider the fact that some of these shops owners they they rely on cooperatives some of them have collected loans to buy uh, to buy products in in their shops for december so that they can sell you know oh my god this is this is such a sad news i pray that you know the lord give them fortitude to bear the loss because this is such a huge this is such such a huge loss even especially considering the time that it happened in the midnight when you know nobody is awake if not for the man that called uh, fire service because his house is just 30 meters from where the shops are i i think that the, the man was fearing for his own house that was why he even called fire safety and one other thing that i want to draw attention to here is also the fact that you know the fire safety could not even get to where they would be able to put out the fire on time because of the market as usual you know a uh, kaya don't put in kaya for road uh, one container is blocking the road one way barrel is blocking the road one shop is just there you know how markets usually are well anyway let me know what you all think in the comment section subscribe if you haven't I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, guys.